Today I am on my way to go meet up with a couple of girls. We are going to be having raw meat today, which is a big thing in Ethiopia. Uh, I believe it's going to be kind of like chunks of meat, which I have never had, but uh, I'm willing to try it. In Ethiopia, people love to eat beef. It is actually more common than chicken and even less expensive. Tibs, which are cooked pieces of marinated beef, seem to be the top choice of entree for many people. But I found out that Sundays has been designated as the day for friends and meat lovers to come together for some tere siga, otherwise known as raw beef. Today I decided to walk. I was running a little bit late. I would have taken a taxi, but it just takes a little bit more time to wait for the taxi. Salamno. Huh? Amarak? Tanish, Tanish. They were just asking me if I spoke Amharic, and I said Tanish, Tanish, which means little, little. Okay, I'm definitely not going to be able to say the name of this place right, but it's Chato Mandahalem. Something like that. I want to see zombie. Yeah. Salamna. The butcher counter is located at the back of the restaurant out in the open air. You can see the cow hanging in the back while the butchers slice up the special cuts as the orders come in. In America, we have been instilled the fear of contracting a foodborne illness such as salmonella. But Ethiopians don't seem to worry as much and have their own way of preventing it from happening. A few beers and some shots of alcohol. I'm with Yodi from Habitat Traveler. We met, we met on social media. Yes, and then here we are eating raw meat. And here we are in Ethiopia together. Eating raw meat. Eating raw meat. Yeah. Yodi was so kind to invite me to join she and her friends for this Ethiopian delicacy and to learn the proper rituals that go along with it. That's Nero. Nebro. Nebro. Which means tiger, okay. Oh, so there's each piece, each type cut has a different name. Yeah. Ah. Well, first time eating today, Siga. Raw meat. I am learning so many new things. All right, first, tear off some injera, take a piece of the meat, wrap it up. Okay, raw meat. Dip it in some hot sauce. This hot sauce has supposedly alcohol in it and it's very, very hot. I like I like hot hot and alcohol, so <laughs> okay. Okay, don't, let's try it. Don't They're warning me not to not yeah, to do I it. Think that's, enough. that's enough? Yeah, I went to Okay, there we go. Uh. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> <laughs> too big of a bite. <laughs> okay, that one I took way too big of a bite, so I'm gonna try this over again. <laughs> Even the way you cut it, there is an art for it. So. Do I touch it with my hands? Yeah. Yeah? Oh, just pick it up. Pick it up. Okay. There's even a proper technique for cutting okay. the meat. I'm learning how to cut this meat. Okay, I got it. No, wrong way. Two fingers. You hold the piece of meat between two fingers and you cut from the outside uh, in. Okay. Smaller, I need. <laughs> okay, all right. There we go. Is it like areki in there? Yeah, that's what I thought. This piece is really tender. When we were finished with all the raw meat we could eat, we sent the remaining sliced beef back to the chef for him to cook. We just took the rest of the raw meat and had them cook it and make it into tibs. So a little bit of raw meat and a little bit of cook today. Mm. That's so good. Betam conjo. <laughs> so after eating all this meat, you need some alcohol. Is it a No. No. What is this? For neat. Okay. Now you wash it down all the raw meat with ferret 
It's some kind of farit? Farnit. Farnit. But normally, normally it's without a but since they don't have water cake. Oh, is that the, that's what happened? Okay, they didn't have but it. Any type of alcohol is fine. Woo! This is strong. It's weird. It's a mixture of licorice, medicine, something to kill the bacteria. And just when I thought I couldn't eat any more meat, they serve our last beef dish. Gundan tips. Okay, gundan tips. Gundan tips. Gundan tips, which means ant because of the way that it looks. Mm. I don't know how to describe. It's like it's nice and crunchy. It's like it's like um, beef and jerky. It's like fried. Fried. Yes. Yeah. It's different. As I said earlier, people after they eat the raw meat, they drink some kind of hard liquor. Usually it's a reki, which is pure grain alcohol. This time they didn't have that at this restaurant, so we drank something else. I will have to say, I probably should have drank a little bit more. In Ethiopia, after everyone is finished eating, then it's coffee time. Unlike in America, we drink coffee first, they drink coffee last coffee to top it all off. Buna time. The next day, even though I drank alcohol, I had to stay in bed and close to a toilet. But it was fun and I learned and I would do it again. Please like and subscribe to see more videos and different cultures around the world.